Hi everyone! I've been meaning to do a introduction to me kind of video. Um, my first one I don't think I posted. This is just going to be, I kind of want to tell you what my plans are for this page. My plans are for myself. Um, let's start with who I am. Um, my name is Emily. I live in Southern California. I'm 27 years old. I have struggled with my weight my entire life. Um, there isn't a point in my life where I remember not being overweight, not having a problem. Um, high school, I tended to, um, I bounced back and forth um, between like an average weight and then being overweight. And um, I bounced back and forth because of um, mostly the Atkins diet, but a lot of bad diets. I um, tried all the ridiculous ones. Um, so I, after high school, I kind of just let myself go and didn't really give a shit. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Um, <clears throat> but I would like you know, maybe once a year, try a diet, try being good. Um, I went on and off the Atkins diet probably at least four times after high school. Um, uh, this is the actual first healthy kind of way that I um, started going after trying to lose weight. Um, every other way, I was just doing something that was really harmful. Um, I was bulimic for a while, um, did lose some weight, and then learning about all the tooth decay, mostly, scared the heck out of me, you gotta be honest. Um, that has crept up quite a few times already in this journey for me. Um, it's a daily struggle to, um, not feel like need to purge um, but I would more classify myself as a binge eater who occasionally would purge because it um, I would have like weeks where it would just take over me it felt like this like giant monster on my back and every time I ate I felt like I had to throw it up um, but all my life I've had parts of my life where I would just binge like, I mean, like, literally just eat massive amounts of food and be fine. Like, like, I just, that's what I wanted was just to eat a massive amount of food. And I wouldn't throw it up. But, um, like I said, the bulimia has kind of crept in and out. Um, I haven't thrown up anything now for two weeks. But, like I said, I have had trouble already um, since um, when I started this program kind of what I'm doing in August. So, um, my prayers are that that just, uh, I'm able to keep that under control. Um, so let's see, I started, um, kind of watching my calories. If you like, that's what I was doing basically. On August 1st and that's because I'd heard of this application on the iPhone and um, let's see I'll show it to you it's up here whoops up here in the corner it's called my fitness pal they have a website as well you don't have to have an iPhone to use this service it's free um, it's a calorie counter see that's how many calories I have left for today. I have 100, or sorry, 1,010 calories left for today. And I'm cooking dinner right now. Um, it just, I never paid attention to calories. Never. Like, with almost all the other, like, fad diets I tried, they were never, like, calorie restrictive or, like, calorie based because I thought, well, that's an extreme diet when it's not at all. Um cutting down your carbs to 10 a day, like in the Atkins diet, is extreme. And I know that ruined my 
metabolism because um, I just, I eat just as much as I used to when I was little and my body can't process it as it used to. Um, and that's the really bad thing about, um, my hair looks retarded right now, I'm sorry, about low carb diets is they just wreck your system. And with any diet, actually, um, any kind of extreme measure you're doing to your body. Um, so basically my plan, what I've been doing and it's been working and I'm in shock that it's working is, um, I go by what my fitness pal says that, um, are the amount of calories I need, which, um, at the time that I signed up, I was 275 pounds and I think my calorie like bank for the day was like 1700 or around there. And so I thought, oh, that's pretty easy to stay within. And then as you continue to lose weight, you log that as well into my fitness pal. And it'll ask you, would you like me to, re like after every 10 pounds you lose, it'll ask you, to, would you like us to recalculate your calorie goal? If you press yes, it's going to lower your calories because it wants to continue you on that path of losing at least two pounds a week. Um, so now my calorie goal is 1,410 calories. I'm down to 242 as of this morning. So I'm 33 pounds down. Um, that's not bad seeing how... Today is October 24th. Um, I started on August 1st, and I am not restricting myself in any way other than calories. I've had fast food. I've gone out to restaurants. I've gone to bars. I have drank myself into a stupor. I've had, like, just, you know, horrible, sad days. I've had happy days. I've gone to parties. <laughs> And in no way am I restricting myself other than calories. So if I have like a piece of cake, then yeah, I can't have a ton of pizza afterwards because I had a piece of cake. Like I need to, I log everything that I eat and everything that I drink. And the only way I'm restricting myself is in the calories. So it's been working, obviously. Um, that's not a hugely impressive goal like, or uh, weight loss, you know, 33 pounds in, what is that, August, September, October, like, uh, three months, right, I guess, I don't know, yeah, because all of August, all of September, and then almost all of October, so three months, so I'm losing a, bleh, about 10 pounds a month, that's not bad, seeing how last week, um, I just completely went off the plan and I was still logging everything that I ate and I was horrified at the amount of calories I was taking in but I still logged everything and I did not and I was in shock um, <clears throat> let me see if I can show you yeah I'll show you uh, two Saturdays ago I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, you can't see that. Anyway, I was 1,340 calories over my goal. I ate 2,780 calories that day. I just, I didn't, give, I didn't give a crap. I just ate whatever the hell I wanted. And um, I tend to fall into those kinds of traps. So I need to watch myself and I have no one to be accountable to like I said my roommate she's thin always has been thin doesn't have to watch her weight doesn't have to watch what she eats not really a good person my family um, there's some mixed feelings there because I feel like I was kind of pressured into dieting since a little since I was little so I don't really want to go there so this is why I created this YouTube page and I hope that um, I can make some friends on here. Um, I'd like you, if you would like to, to follow me on um, or be my friend on my fitness pal if you sign up. Um, my sign in is Emily E M I L Y R R T.
Thanks.